This is 100% the best way to use DDU. I've done it hundreds of times. If you follow the instructions, it will work. This is the updated guide for Windows 11, so let's go. Why do you want to use DDU? DDU is Display Driver Uninstaller. It's a tool that completely cleans your graphics card driver off your PC. This is good to do if you're upgrading or swapping your graphics card, or if you are having problems with your graphics card. It is not guaranteed to fix anything, but it often works and it's an easy first step to try before going to more extreme measures like returning your graphics card. In my opinion, using DDU every few driver upgrades is a good idea at least. If you encounter any problems, look to the troubleshooting section of this video and look to the pinned comment as well. I will expect you to have watched the whole video before asking any questions. How to use DDU. I'm going to do this in three parts. Prep, do and restore. Let's start with prep. So we need to download a few files in order to do this process. Go to Google, then search for your graphics card driver. You will have either an NVIDIA graphics card, which starts with GTX or RTX, a Radeon graphics card, which starts with RX, or an Intel graphics card. We want to download the driver for the graphics card that will be in the PC at the end of the process. So if you are just doing a fresh reinstall, then it's the graphics card already in your PC. If you are changing to a new graphics card, you want the graphics driver for the new graphics card, not the one you already have in your PC. If you have an NVIDIA graphics card, search for NVIDIA drivers. Go to the nvidia.com result. Do not use the automatic option at the top. Scroll down and use the menu to find your graphics card, then hit search. Download the latest driver from the list. If you have a Radeon graphics card, search for Radeon drivers. Do not use this button here. Instead, go to the drop down and find your graphics card. You want to go to Windows 11? Do not download the auto detect and install file. Go down and get the Adrenaline version. This is the full driver and it is the cleanest way to install without needing to be online. If you have an Intel graphics card, search for Intel graphics drivers and follow the links to find the right driver. Next, we will download DDU itself. Search for DDU. You can get it from Vagnard Soft or from Guru 3D. Let's use Guru 3D. You're going to download it from the green button shown on screen. Open your downloads folder, right click on the DDU download and extract it. Now this is an important step, but you only need to do it if you have an AMD Ryzen CPU in your PC. If you do not know this information, or you know you have an Intel CPU, just ignore this step. Search for AMD chipset drivers. Do not use the top option for auto detect. Instead, scroll down, go to chipsets and find your motherboard chipset. If you do not know your chipset, just download any of them because they're usually all the same anyway. Under Windows 11, download the chipset driver. The prep is nearly finished, but there is one final step and is absolutely crucial for the cleanest installation. Do not skip this, it is here for a reason. To stop Windows auto-installing the wrong driver. You need to completely disconnect your PC from the internet. If you use an Ethernet connection, that is as simple as unplugging the Ethernet cable from the back of your computer. If you use Wi-Fi, go to the bottom right of your desktop, click on the network icon and then click on Wi-Fi to disable it. There is no need to disable Bluetooth for this process, so leave that alone. The prep is done, now let's get on with actually doing it. So click the Windows key, click the little power button, hold the left shift key on your keyboard, keep that held down and click restart. The screen will say please wait and you can let go of shift at this point. You'll get some options come up on screen. Go to Troubleshoot, Advanced, Startup Settings, and then Restart. When you boot up, you will have a menu with numbers. Click 4 on your keyboard to enter Safe Mode. Your PC will boot into Safe Mode, which is a basic operation mode for your PC. It ensures the cleanest wipe of your graphics driver. Open your Downloads folder, 
open the DDU folder, then the DDU file. This extracts another folder, open that new folder and open display driver uninstaller. You'll get some options pop up on screen. You could leave it as is and that will probably be fine, but if you like, you can pause the video and just copy what I've got on screen. You can use the maximize button in the top right to make the window larger if you can't see the close button at the bottom. Okay, now it's time to really focus. On the right, the device type should be GPU. And in the next drop down, you can choose Nvidia, Radeon, or Intel, or you can choose all GPUs. I would suggest that you just click all GPUs. Then on the left, you'll see there are three options, but I'm going to make this very easy for you. Just click clean and shut down. After clicking that, DDU will work its magic and shut your PC down within a few minutes. If you are changing to a new graphics card, now it's time for you to physically swap the graphics card out. If you're just doing a clean reinstall of the graphics driver, then you can turn your PC back on now. When your PC loads back up again, go to your downloads. If you downloaded the AMD chipset driver earlier, you should install this first. If you didn't download it, don't worry, you can actually do that later if you need to at all. You'll need to restart if you complete installation of a chipset driver. In your downloads, install your graphics driver by opening the file and follow the launcher through. If there is an option for a clean install or a factory reset, you can select to do that. Restart your PC once this process is finished, even if the PC does not prompt you to do it. The final step is to enable your internet again. If you're using Ethernet, you simply plug your Ethernet cable back into the PC. If you're using Wi-Fi, you just need to go to the bottom right and re-enable your Wi-Fi. Hopefully your internet is now working again. And that is the whole process. If it helped, leave me a thank you down in the comments for this updated version. This is the end of the guide, but there will be some troubleshooting below, so stick around if you had issues with doing this. So the first issue, and by far the most common, was that people were saying you have to be online in order to install the graphics driver. That is plainly incorrect. That has only happened because you've downloaded the auto detect and install version of a graphics driver. Instead, you should go back, follow the process again, and bear in mind that you need to download the full adrenaline version for Radeon or the full Nvidia driver for Nvidia. Next issue is that DDU won't open when you're in safe mode. And sometimes that's because you have OneDrive set up. So the way to get around this is to move the DDU download folder onto a USB stick and then run it from the USB stick instead. Many people asked for more detail about the chipset driver. I think I've covered that in this video. However, you only need to worry about this if you have an AMD Ryzen CPU and then you just follow the instructions that I tell you in the video. It's not that deep. Some people have complained of just having a black screen after doing this process. Most of the time, that is because you're running either a very old graphics card. Remember, I've only validated this for the GTX 10 series and newer. And sometimes that's because the VBIOS on the card only works with a CSM version of Windows and your Windows is a UEFI version. CSM is pretty old school, so there's not really going to be a fix for this apart from reinstalling Windows with CSM enabled. But ideally, you're just going to need to upgrade that graphics card realistically. One of the major problems people reported with my last video on this topic was that sometimes you couldn't enter your PIN in order to get into safe mode. Nowadays, Windows, it makes you be online for all kinds of rubbish. So if you need to get around this, the way you do it is by going into your settings when your PC is in the normal mode and then finding a way to remove the pin code from there. That's usually under accounts and then sign in options. You might need to remove quite a few of your sign in options in order to make this work. So you might find yourself in a situation where you can't remove that pin code or for some reason it's just not letting you sign in. In which case, you'll need to just get out of safe mode, back into the normal mode, and then re-enable your internet. If you can't sign in without the internet, then even from the login screen, you should be able to go to the bottom right and enable your Wi-Fi again, or of course plug in your Ethernet cable depending on which uh, method you use to connect. Then I guess you're just going to have to use DDU with your internet enabled and not in safe mode. It will be less optimal, but it's better than nothing, I suppose.
If for some reason you get stuck in safe mode, normally just rebooting the PC is going to get you out of safe mode, but if not, there is another way that you can escape. You need to power off your PC, then power on, and when you see the spinning circle here when Windows is loading, you need to immediately power the PC off. You need to repeat this two or three times, and then you'll see that Windows is trying to do an automatic repair. Let it continue. It's not actually going to do anything. And then when it comes up with this blue screen here, you go to advanced options. And from here, you have a couple of things to try. You might actually notice this is the same screen that we got to before in the method. First, you can try troubleshoot, advanced, startup settings, and then click restart like you did to get into safe mode in the first place. And then when the list of options comes up, upon reboot, then you just click enter on your keyboard to continue to your operating system. If you're still in safe mode after trying that, then the next thing to try is to use the command prompt. You have to get back to that same recovery screen again following that process, and this time you're going to find the option for the command prompt. When the command prompt comes up, you can try the following command and then click enter. It has to be written exactly like this with the same punctuation, same spaces, and even things like the curly brackets have to be exactly the same. If you still can't get out of safe mode, even after doing the command prompt, even after rebooting and everything, I don't know what the hell is going on with your Windows installation, but it's definitely balked in some weird way. You're gonna have to reset your PC. And that is one of the reasons why at the start of the video, I said that if there's anything really crucial on that PC, you should actually be backing that up because I can't guarantee that this will go fine. I've never had this problem after doing it like 50 times on 50 different computers. It's never been a problem, but some people have had this problem, so that's why I have to put that in as a disclaimer. Hopefully the troubleshooting has been helpful. I will say that I have done this on over 50 unique PCs and I've never had a single issue with any step. It's always gone smoothly. Most of you guys, you're gonna sail through the process. If you look in the comments and see lots of complaints, that might just be because people that have problems are more likely to comment. There are some steps in this video that some people might think are unnecessary, but I disagree. If you're doing a clean installation, then do it properly, do it cleanly, following the full and proper method outlined in this video. Okay, see you in the comments.